Hey what's going on guys, Lynx Warlord here and today I'm bringing you a Black Ops 2 tips video on how to stick people with the Semtex. Now if you're wondering why I'm making this video, it's because it's part of the humiliation challenge and you need to stick 25 people in order to complete that challenge. Now I made another video about how to get bank shots with the combat axe and you guys really liked it so I thought I'd make another video showing you how to easily complete another challenge for the humiliation title. So let me know if you want to see more of these challenge videos because if we can hit 1000 likes I'll upload another one as soon as possible. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get down to it. Now it's really important to get the right class made before anything else since it's the class that's going to make sure we have the best chance of getting the stick kills. So for our primary we're using a submachine gun with no attachments at all and this is because we don't need a good primary we just need something that's quick to kill and really fast to run with. So we're also not taking any first perks like Ghost or Hardline since they won't help us at all to get stick kills. Instead, we're taking two second tier perks and these are Scavenger and Fast Hands. Now these perks will help you out a lot when you're trying to get the stick kills since you'll throw the Semtex a lot faster with Fast Hands and be able to get more Semtex from the Scavenger packs if you run out. And moving on to our third perk, we have Extreme Conditioning since we'll need to be as close as possible to the enemy team so being able to run for longer will make this a whole load easier and it will save a lot of time. Now for our lethals, we're taking two Semtex grenades and two flashbangs, so we'll need the wild card of Danger Close. Now taking two Semtex is very important for getting sticks, since it lets you get two attempts at it per life. Now trust me, this does come in handy, and with that wild card and the perk 2 wild card, that's all our points spent. Now it's not a class for getting swarms or staying alive, but this is the best class for sticking enemies and getting that challenge done in just one or two games. So now that we have the class all made out, how do we stick enemies with the Semtex? Now this can be really difficult, but if you break it down, it's definitely not that hard. Now the clips you're going to be seeing of me sticking people are all from the same game where I managed to get 15 sticks just doing this method so you definitely know it's the most effective way of doing it and I managed to get the challenge done really really fast. So don't worry about your KD since you'll only need to use this class setup for a few games at the most. Now in order to get the sticks you need to get as close as possible to the enemy and then aim the Semtex for where the enemy is headed. Now because you have fast hands on you can throw the Semtex pretty fast but still aim for the direction that he's headed in to stand the best chance of getting the stick and getting the kill. But something that's going to help you to get those really hard kills is the flashbangs. Now what you want to do with these is use them on campers or people lying down waiting for you. Now what you need to do is throw both of the flashbangs to completely flash the enemy and then sprint towards them to get the stick. This is a super easy way of getting stick kills and it works really well if you flank around the map and stick the enemy in the back. You can get multiple sticks in one life if you make sure to pick up the scavenger packs as well so remember that, use the map to your advantage. Now when you're doing this, remember that your aim is to get the stick kills since you'll end up dying a lot. But trust me, if you play normally and expect to get 25 stick kills, you'll end up spending a lot of time going for it. So instead, do it this way and have two games of just sticking people to get the challenge done. Now you'll get a low KD, but trust me, it's by far the fastest and most effective way to get the challenge done. So make sure to try this out if you want to get that humiliation title. Getting the stick kills is one of the harder parts to it, but once you've done it, it's definitely one of the best titles to have in the game. Now if you've just decided that you want to go for the humiliation title, then check out my bank shot tips video since that's also a part of the challenge too. So if you have enjoyed the video today, don't forget to click that like button below because it really helps me out. And I've also got some really nice videos coming very soon, more breakdowns and gameplay tips, so remember to click subscribe to stay up to date with them. But anyway guys, this has been Link's Warlord and I'm signing out, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.